Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF, one of the fastest game show on Mike C. And I'm Fred White. Hey, today we're talking to you about something that Fred created. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tutorial on how to create your wheels for hyperspin. Okay. For those of you all that don't know what hyperspin is, hyperspin is a software that allows you to put all your emulators in one place with uh, another help of a software called Rocket Launcher. Mm -hmm. And once you launch uh, hyperspin, you'll have all your wheels and it'll tell you what emulator you want to play, like, you know, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And you may have, like, some wheels that are missing and mm -hmm. you just want to create some, okay. you know. And this is ideal for somebody who's building an arcade cabinet. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, um, you can run all your stuff here. And especially for those of you all who got the Ultra MU stick, mm -hmm. uh, please follow this tutorial so you can create your own uh, wheels if you want to. Uh -huh. So without uh, further ado, here's the tutorial. Let's check it out. Today I'll be showing you how to make custom wheels for your Hyperspin application. If you don't know what Hyperspin is, Hyperspin is a program that puts all your emulators in one place. So you don't have to go through your computer searching for emulators to play all your favorite ROMs like Dreamcast, Nintendo, such and such. Let's just load up Hyper uh, Spin so we can see what it is. And for those of you who ordered the Ultra MU stick, this is what you'll be getting a ton load of emulators and a ton load of ROMs. Hours and hours of fun gameplay. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Let's just be through this. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to focus on the PS4 wheel. Now, I don't have the PS4 working right now. The only thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have it linked to the PS Remote Play app. So I can play my PlayStation 4 games through my computer in Hyperspin. But if I go through here, and as you see, it's a ton of emulators. Right. But today I'm just focused on uh, the PlayStation 4. Right. So if I go to the PlayStation 2, you see that nice wheel, you see the characters, you see the uh, gameplay in the background. If I go to my PlayStation 3, You'll see all uh, the nice graphics and stuff like that. But wait a minute, you see nothing for PlayStation 4. So let's fix that. I'm we'll gonna exit out of this application real quick. And some of the things that you need to do before you do anything else, you're going to need to download VLC player. That's very important for this because your computer, well, a, a hyperspin is going to need to read FLV files. You need to go ahead and download that if you don't already have it. But if you do, let's just continue. Um, next, you're going to need to do is you're going to go to your control panel. You're going to go into File Explorer Options. Now, if yours don't look like this, it'll probably look like this. I don't like that view. So just for the time being, just go to Category, go to uh, Large Icons, and you want to go ahead and click File Explorer Options, all right? Uh, you want to go over here to view and you want to go down to this tab that says hide extension for known file types. I already have mine unchecked and if you look at this video that I have right here, if I click on it, that's an old Jaguar commercial. You see the file extension says MP4, alright? But if I click on this, it just says Jag CD. It doesn't give me a file extension and I have no way of changing it. So you have to go back and you have to click that add extension for known file types. Click apply, click OK, and now we can see our extension. Next, you're going to need to grab some video and some PNG files. Just go to uh, YouTube. Pick any video. You're going to copy this link up at the top by right clicking, copy. You're going to open up a new window and go to a site called Keep Vid. Here you'll press Ctrl and V and you'll paste it here. Click download, 
and um, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the one that works for you that will pop up the first time that you do it but right click on it and you're going to go save target as and that'll pop up and you see it if I downloaded this file it's going to be an mp4 file I don't need it so there's no need for me to download it next right, just go to google or yahoo or whatever search engine you're using and you want to type in ps4 png and then you'll get these files right and real quick now if I was to go down here click on this image right here you see this white background it's not a PNG that's a JPEG file the reason why I know because that background is in there and you can right click on it press save as and uh, oh that is a PNG file well you want something without that background if you go just look for a file if you don't see a background on it then you're cool and that's a PNG background so I can click save as and you see it says PNG the, the other file normally will say uh, JPEG JPG but you want this because you want to clear back now that you have all your files downloaded go to the folder where you download it for me I just created a folder and put it all in here and as you can see I downloaded three PNGs and one mp4 file now that's my video file what I'm going to need to do is copy this and I'm going to need to put this video in a specific place and keep in mind the video that you're making for whatever wheel that you're creating has to read exactly how all your other stuff reads so if you're doing Atari Jaguar it has to be spelled exactly how all your other stuff is spelled okay so now that I already copied this since we're working with the Sony PlayStation 4 I just copy Sony PlayStation 4 and what I'm going to do is go into my computer I'm going to go into where the hyperspan application is installed for those of you who have the ultra emu stick it will be drive x you want to click that go inside here you want to go inside hyperspan you want to go inside media you want to go all the way down to some menu you want to go to video all the video right here. Uh, and you're going to just simply right click and paste it and there's my video right here. now get out of that now next step what you need to do is you need to paste another video back in here all right now that that's paste um what we need to do is we need to change this file extension remember how I told you before you go into file explorer uh, you need to change this to FLV because hyper theme does not read mp4 it only reads FLV and you don't have to do no conversion type software or download any stuff like that just change the name of the file so what you're going to do is right click on it rename it go back to uh, the 4 you want to change this whole thing, delete that mp4 and you want to name that FLV FLV and you also want to take out the copy go all the way back till you get to the back of the 4 on PlayStation 4 press enter so I ask you do you want to change it? say yes all right, now I had complications with doing this, so do me a favor, just copy this again, the one that you made, uh, FLV. You want to copy this, and you want to paste it again. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want this little cone sign. Now what you can do is you can go back to the original, you can delete it, and again, you're going to rename this so it just reads PlayStation 4. So we're going to delete copy. Go all the way back to say 4. Bam. Now, 
in my files I have three PNGs, I have one FLV and I have one MP4. Now let's boot up Hyperfin. Okay. So what you need to do is to go back into my computer, the X drive or wherever your Hyperspin is located at. You're going to go into the Hyperspin folder and you're going to launch Hyperfin which you'll get when you download uh, Hyperspin. These buttons up here, self-explanatory, but we're not going to deal with uh, them today. You can just play around with it and you'll figure them out on your own. It's very easy. Um, let's take these two off. That is the uh, simulator wheel and uh, the lower for the artwork. Now we're going to add a background. Real quick. So we click on background, go to add. This is the folder. It's already pointed to it. I'm um, Call of Duty. Okay. So that's going on right here. Artwork, we're going to add. Uh, this is layers, right? So just think of this as uh, the, the comforter, the bottom sheet, the uh, mattress, and the box frame. Because all this stuff lays on top of each other. So four, we're going to add a piece of artwork. And we're going to add the PlayStation. Right. Boom. Right here. Uh, three. We're going to add some more artwork, which is the PS4 logo. All right. All right. And we're just going to do little effects on it. So you can go down here once you're highlighted uh, artwork for. You can go down here and uh, just play around with some of these settings. Real cool. Go to the other artwork. And I'm just doing this random. And you just play with it as you will. Next, we're going to add our video. Now we need some video. Add that. And you can see in this folder that there's two video formats showing up the FLV and the MP4. But Hyperspin is only reading the FLV file. That we created. So click that and you can resize this. You can't do that with all the other artwork, like the, the artwork four and three for some reason. It has these anchor points for the artwork here, but I can't do it. Alright. Alright. And now what you need to do is we're going to need to save this stuff. Alright. Go down here where uh, you have an option to choose between game, menu, default, and part. We're just going to put it on main menu. We're going to go to username and we're going to set this as test 7777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777
Now, you see how it says PlayStation 4 test 77777. If I put this in where it's supposed to go, it's not going to read it at all. And let's just do that real quick. So the next folder that we're going to open up, we're going to open up where this file is supposed to go. So open up my PC. We're going to open up the X drive. We're going to go to Hyperspring. We're going to go to Media. We're going to go all the way down to where it says Main Menu. We're going to go to Themes. All right. Now, if I was to drag this file and put it in here, even though it says PlayStation 4, let's go back to Hyperspring. Nothing. It's not showing anything. You know why? Because it's not in its right file name. It's not reading uh, PlayStation 4. So what you need to do is you need to rename this. Rename it PlayStation 4. Now, you see his name, PlayStation 4, we got PlayStation 3, we got PlayStation 2. Now, let's go back, all right? Now, we don't see anything yet, right? Let's just go up and down in the room. Bam, there we go. Now, your custom world is made, and it's as simple as that. Please follow the tutorial to a T, and you'll be up and making your own custom hyper wheels in no time. Back to you, Fred and Mike. Well, I hope that uh, we showed you everything that you need to know. If you have any additional questions, please uh, get in contact with us and we'll try to help you out as best as we can. Okay, like always, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit us up at thegamershow at gmail.com. That's the Gamershow with the name. Don't forget that on head. Hold on over to the store where you can find local price products. And don't forget to hit us up in the time. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our SteamWorks community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. We'll see you next time on WWTF. What the facts? Game of show. See you next time. Keep on watching. Thanks for tuning in.